Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mr. Joshua with another toy reveal. And uh, this morning I'd like to show off to you guys something a little bit different. This is the yellow saber toothed tiger from the original Power Rangers series, back from Mouse of Kid. Or technically back from, uh, I want to say, the uh, 80s when it came out in uh, J Japan. I think they're probably like Super Sentai or some shit like that. I don't know. I don't really. You know, watch Japanese stuff too much. I do like uh, Dragon Ball Z, though. It's a pretty, pretty awesome show. But uh, yeah, back to the uh, figure. Now, as you see before you, this is the uh, Sabretooth Tiger, which is uh, one of the five or one of six or seven Zords that combine to make you know, different variations of the uh, Megazord or Dino Megazord. With me, I just call it the original Megazord because that's what it is, you know. And so the uh, pilot of this sword would be the Yellow Ranger. Ironically, they're both yellow. So just in case if you're retarded or something, you won't forget. Oh, the, the sword is yellow, so that means that may have belonged to the Yellow Ranger. Yeah, I, I'm a big boy. Big boy gonna watch himself, Gilbert. <laughs> yeah, hurry for that. But yeah, check it out. Uh, this uh, figure came out in the early, early 90s, back when I was a kid. I think this came out when I was like maybe five, give or take. And um, so that means this figure could have came out in 1993, I believe. That's where I want to say it came out around that era. But um, yeah, for this being over uh, 20 years old for a toy, it's actually in like perfect condition. Uh, all the other you know, Megazords I've seen in the past that are from the 90s era, a lot of them are missing the um, missing the uh, you know decal uh, stickers that they have on them. But in this case, the uh, stickers on here are like fucking you know cherried out. They're perfect, you know, no scratch marks or you know anything like that. And it's all original. And it's very uncommon to see things like this too, because usually in the 90s, you now I know for a fact in the 90s, um, when we had cool toys like this, we would leave them outside, bash the fuck out of them with a Tonka truck, or um, be very rough with them to the point where, you know, maybe they're missing a leg or something or a tooth. And yeah, in the 90s kids, when it, came, when it came to toys, you know, we were pretty brutal with you know, figures. Um, with me, when I was little, me, me and my brother had those big giant. Uh, metal Tonka trucks, like the uh, big giant, um, what are they called? Uh, they, they, weren't, they weren't the garbage trucks, they are big giant, you know, Tonka uh, uh, dirt movers. And so me and my brother used to like, you know, bash them together, like have uh, car crashes and whatnot. It was pretty fun. And then we, we even got to a point where we discovered that we could smash Hot Wheels with uh, my dad's, you know, hammer, so that was pretty fun. And after destroying Tonka trucks and toys, we moved on to destroying Hot Wheels with hammers. Yeah, my parents weren't really too happy about that. And then it was as we got older, we found out that you can use a magnifying glass to burn figures. I actually almost got expelled from school because I started a fire. Yeah, that's a pretty fun story. I almost got expelled from uh, school a lot when I was younger, up through up until I was in high school. I don't know. Maybe it's because the teachers hated me. I'm not really sure. I don't think we'll ever know about the reasons why I was almost expelled. But anyways, yeah, this uh, figure, the uh, saber tooth tiger, is actually in like perfect shape now. It's nice. It's clean. Very clean. And uh, there's no dust on it, surprisingly. I'm really uh, surprised at how like perfect it is, you know? There's like no cracks. And uh, I want to say that um, it must have been owned by, by uh, an adult back in the 90s or maybe even a teen, you know, give or take. And um, it's really funny, too, because a lot of the time also the uh, figures will be like loose, as in like, you know, the leg joints that just move back and forth with ease. In this case, you know, it doesn't. It's nice and tight. Very 
Very nice. And originally, I was going to review this Zord with the rest of the other four Meg Zords. Well, uh, four Zords, but um, unfortunately, at this time, I don't have the original Mega Zord. However, I do have one from Leg Sierra because it was cheap when I bought it. But, um, no, this isn't really on my priority list, but eventually I will have all five pieces to the original Megazord. No, uh, maybe it'll take me a couple years out of that procrastination, but... Nah, I really like the sculpt. It's so basic and everything. The only thing I wish that they would have done with these uh, Megazords from the 90s, you know, even though it's cool, I, I wish they would have added some joints. You know, nothing too serious, just to the point where I can actually move this leg back and forth instead of just being you know, all one injection mold, you know. Same with the back back legs. And it would have been a little cooler too if they had a joint right here in the jawbone and kind of made it so that we can open the uh, mouth. And that would have been pretty cool. And uh, it's very simple to transform it too. I, I really, well, since I'm doing this video, I kind of wish I had the original uh, all five Zords, but I don't. Like I said, this is the only dude that I have. The only re and I, uh, ironically, the only reason why I have this figure is because I bought the original uh, Thunder Megazord from some person off eBay a long time ago for about 50 bucks. And that was the one that I customized. It's black and gold. And this one came with it as a bonus. At the time, I was like, why the fuck do I want this? You know, but... And after messing around with them stuff, I was like, oh, it's not that bad at all. You no, know, I kind of, kind of wanted to go back and like you know spray paint this uh, tiger, saber tooth tiger or something, you know. But towards the end, I just thought it wasn't worth my time. But uh, this is how you uh, transform it. It's very easy. Uh, you know, people do it, you know, millions of different ways. With me, I'll just start off with the tail. You know, the tail just closes right up into its back. Legs. Uh, and then you move these forward. You know, you kind of have a really cool looking saber tooth tiger vehicle. And what's really neat about this is it actually rolls back and forth. And 360. 360, motherfucker! Pretty cool. Has little wheels right here, right here. They spin pretty nice. Especially when it's on the table. But yeah. That's kind of the you know vehicle mode or you know half ass mode as I like to call it. And then to uh, turn it into the leg, you just kinda take the head, move these back. The little, you know, things. Move these rest of the way up. And there you have it. The leg to the Megazord. And, uh, it's pretty cool looking. You know, it's pretty standard. And you know, totally 90s nostalgic here. I really like the way it looks. You know, it's, uh, has that nice like blockiness to it. It's kind of blocky, it's uh, vintage. It's clean, no scratches or anything. And it's nice, uh, I really like the way it looks. And that, because Meg the original Megazord is like one of my favorites, minus the uh, Megazord. And Megazord, minus the uh, Dragonzord. Dragonzord is pretty badass. But yeah, if I were to, uh, if I, if I would have had the um, actual Megazord, like the whole entire thing, uh, this dude would have been like giant. He would have been at least, I, I want to say almost uh, 20 inches tall, give or take. And that was one of the cool things about being in the 90s is that the, uh, you know, when Megazords, Megazords were like giant. And that's what kids wanted back then. Kids wanted, uh, you know, monster toys and... Power Rangers and cool shit like that. And Transformers. Transformers were fucking awesome. 
But I remember growing up as a kid with the Transformers. We had Beast Wars and stuff. I remember the Transformers and Beast Wars. They were a bitch to transform. They would literally take like... Now, if you've never you know, done it before, it would have taken at least 15 minutes to transform it from like a robot to a beast or a car or whatever the fuck it was. But yeah. Mm. Mm. It's in pretty good shape. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give it, you know, def definitely a solid 10 for how clean it is. It isn't with scratch marks or anything. And you know, for shits and giggles, let's transform him back into the uh, saber tooth tiger. Show how relatively easy it is. <clears throat> yeah. That's right, you take a look at bitch. And uh, here's a fun fact, too. I know with the original Power Rangers, the, the Japanese version of the Mighty, Mighty Morphin, the Yellow Ranger was actually a dude. Yeah. That just literally exploded your mind. How the fuck can Trini be a, be a man? You know? I thought Trini was pretty hot back in the 90s, you know? Even though I didn't really, uh... Didn't really know what sex was or anything, I always thought that Trini was pretty hot. I thought Kimberly was kind of a bitch, though. I was like, Tommy, what the fuck are you doing with that preppy bitch? Let Jason handle that shit, you know? But, uh, yeah, that's it for this, uh, tiger, the saber-toothed tiger. Now, it's pretty cool looking. It's basic. Um, you can totally tell it's from the 90s. This toy was actually built with quality. Not like the toys we get nowadays where you just drop on the ground and it'll, you know, shatter billions of pieces. Uh, this is back in the 90s when toys actually had quality to them. You know, something where you can actually trash the fuck out of it and have it, you know, be able to, to uh, survive and potentially work still. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, sorry about how, how how long this video is. I was just, you know, really bored and wanted to do a video. But yeah, if you guys like my videos, please like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.